Hello, welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out from Ukraine to share with you. So Volodymyr Zelensky is in the U.S. right now at the U.N. General Assembly. And yesterday while he was speaking, he talked a lot about Russia, obviously because of the war with Ukraine. And one big thing that he mentioned was he said that Russia is preparing to attack three of their nuclear plants inside of Ukraine. Now, Ukraine, as far as I know, has four nuclear plants, but one of them is currently occupied by Russia right now. That is the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. So they have three others inside of Ukraine. And apparently, Russia is, is preparing to attack um, all three of them and destroy them. Okay, and this would be absolutely insane if Russia were to do this. This would obviously cause a major nuclear event and uh, radiation could spread all over Europe, probably even inside of Russia as well. I don't see why they would do this. But this is a major claim coming from Volodymyr Zelensky. And he says that he claims that uh, apparently they have evidence and proof that Russia is planning to do this. Now, I've been telling you guys this for a very long time, that Russia is all in on this war. Okay, it is very clear that Russia is all in. I mean, even with the incursion opening up into the Kursk region, they are more focused on the eastern side of Ukraine, taking over as much territory as they possibly can, uh, even if that means that they uh, expend you know, hundreds of thousands of soldiers doing so just to gain a small amount of territory. Russia is very committed to destroying Ukraine and taking them over. We have discussed this many times. So um, I don't think this story is completely far-fetched, but at the same time, destroying three nuclear power plants and, and potentially putting the war are putting uh, NATO at war with Russia soon after. I mean, uh, you know, obviously NATO would have to respond to this as they would be affected by nuclear radiation. So I've got even some video footage coming out from Volodymyr Zelensky speaking at the UN General Assembly. So we will show you that here in just a moment. But let me jump into this article real quick and just kind of briefly go over this. From the Kiev Independent, Russia's preparing to attack three nuclear power plants in Ukraine, Zelensky tells the UN. So this report came out today, but this was apparently something he met, he mentioned yesterday at the meeting. Okay, and it says right here, Russia's preparing to target three Ukrainian nuclear power plants, President Volodymyr Zelensky told the UN Security Council in New York on September 24th. If Russia is ready to go that far, it means nothing you value, value matters to Moscow. This kind of Russian uh, cynicism... Cynicism will uh, keep striking if it's given any room in the world, he said. Zelensky did not specify which stations are under threat, but said Kiev had evidence and proof of Russia's plans. There are three operating nuclear power plants on the Ukrainian-held territory, Rivni and Klimensky, uh, nuclear power plants in the country's west. And then this one's a little tough to pronounce, but I believe it's uh, Pivdeno, Pivdeno Ukrainsk. I'm probably butchering that. My apologies nuclear power plants in the south. Russia's regular attacks put their safety in jeopardy by cutting off power to the units. The Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, Europe's largest nuclear power station, has been under Russian occupation since March 2022. Throughout its occupation, the plant has repeatedly disconnected from the Ukrainian power grid to Russian attacks on the country's energy infrastructure. There have been mounting warnings from Kiev in recent days about such attacks. Foreign Minister Andriy Sibiya said on September 21st that Russia, uh, Russia's possible targets include open distribution devices at nuclear power plants and transmission substations, which are essential for safe functioning of the nuclear energy system. Earlier on September 24th, Zelensky said that, the, that Russia is using Chinese satellites to take pictures of Ukraine's nuclear facilities for possible future attacks. Ukraine's special services informed Kiev's partners and the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, about the threat. Okay, so that's it for the article, but uh, definitely a very scary situation. Here was Zelensky speaking at the, uh, the UN Security Council meeting yesterday. So very insane story, guys. Um, hopefully this is not the case and this does not happen. I uh, don't know for sure if Ukraine is just saying this and maybe, maybe this isn't Russia's plans, but according to Volodymyr Zelensky... He's saying that uh, they've got proof and evidence that Russia is preparing to strike at least one of their nuclear facilities, maybe more of them, um, and potentially try to destroy them, maybe cut off the power to them, and then they would explode, or what would happen here. But this is obviously very dangerous, as it could lead to a major nuclear accident. 
um, and radiation all of Europe, all over Europe is probably the last thing that anybody would expect coming from this war. But in my personal opinion, I think Russia uh, will fight to the very end in this war. I don't think they're willing to give up. Uh, they will continue on and risk it all is, is what I believe. Um, and uh, it's, it could definitely lead to a very dangerous situation in the end, especially if the West chooses that they don't want to let go of Ukraine. They don't want Ukraine to fall to Russia as well then we could either have an ongoing uh, war for a number of years or um, at the very end, I think it's going to end with a bang, um, which is what I think uh, could happen at some point. And maybe this is why Ukraine is trying to end this war now before there's a devastating uh, situation that, that unfolds here. So I've got a couple of things that I want to show you on X real quick. A few uh, video clips, about a minute long each. This is from United24 Media. Zelensky speaking at the uh, UN Security Council. If, uh, God forbid, Russia causes a nuclear disaster at one of our nuclear power plants, radiation will not respect state borders. So, 42 seconds clip of him speaking. Pay attention to what he has to say. War always poses a threat to many. You all see in the media and read in the reports what is happening in Ukraine because of Russia's war. It's something many are imagining happening to themselves. And yes, the smoke from fires in war-torn cities can reach other countries. And if, God forbid, Russia causes a nuclear disaster at one, at one of our nuclear power plants, radiation will not respect state borders. And unfortunately, various nations could feel the devastating effects. War always... All right, pretty scary, right? I mean, imagine waking up one day and all of a sudden we're hearing, let's say you live in the United States or maybe even Europe. Hopefully you're not in Eastern Europe if this happens, but hey, wake up call for the people that are in Eastern Europe in case this does happen. Uh, this could be very dangerous and very devastating to the entire world, especially on Eastern Europe. Uh, anybody located nearby there would be affected by this. So hopefully this is not the case and does not happen, but Volodymyr Zelensky is warning for sure that uh, this could be a plan that Russia could try to unfold here when it comes to Ukraine. Also from United24 Media, Zelensky, as of today, Russia has destroyed all of our thermal po uh, power plants and a large part of our hydroelectric capacity. This is how Putin is preparing for winter, hoping to torment millions of Ukrainians. So uh, I've mentioned with you guys before that Russia has apparently destroyed 80% of their energy capacity in their nation, especially their thermal power plants, just completely wiped out. Uh, devastating attacks that we have seen throughout the year. I've reported on many of these. And this is basically what uh, Volodymyr Zelensky is mentioning while they're talking about their nuclear power plants under this threat. So take a look. Since Russia can't defeat our people's resistance on the battlefield, Putin is looking for other ways to break the Ukrainian spirit. One of his methods is targeting our energy infrastructure. And these are deliberate Russian attacks on our power plants and the entire energy grid. As of today, Russia has destroyed all our thermal power plants and a large part of our hydroelectric capacity. This is how Putin is preparing for winter, hoping to torment millions millions of Ukrainians, ordinary families, women, children, ordinary towns, ordinary villages. Putin wants to leave them in the dark and cold this winter, forcing Ukraine to suffer and surrender. Just imagine, please, your country with 80% of its energy system gone, with such a destroyed part of the system. So you heard it right there, 80% of their energy system destroyed from all these attacks inside of Ukraine, okay? So Ukraine is in a very horrible situation when it comes to their energy, um, as uh, most of their facilities have been destroyed already. So we've been hearing that this winter is not going to be a very pleasant winter for the people of Ukraine and could even lead to a potential uh, catastrophe, humanitarian catastrophe that is inside of Ukraine, especially this year and moving forward in the years if Ukraine is not able to, uh, you know, repair their power grid and uh, get their facilities back online, especially the ones that have already been lost. So very dangerous situation that Ukraine is in. And obviously, I, in my opinion as well, I think that 
These strikes on these energy facilities already show how far Russia is willing to go to collapse Ukraine. So I see where, where Vladimir Zelensky is going when it comes to these nuclear power plants. But obviously, that's a very major step forward if Russia were to choose to do that. So we'll have to see what happens moving forward. So I've got one last thing I want to show you guys here on X as well. This is from Max24. If Russia attacks Ukrainian nuclear power plants, it will be necessary to intervene immediately, says Andrzej Duda, the president of Poland. According to him, there is a risk of attacks on Rivni or Kleminsky power plants. I believe those are the ones on the western side of their country. And it makes sense why Poland would come out and say this because they're right next door, okay? Uh, they're not too far away from these two nuclear power plants, uh, the Rivni and the Kleminsky nuclear power plants, if they were to go up in smoke or have some sort of major nuclear incident, or maybe the power gets cut off. Uh, obviously, guys, very dangerous situation what's going on here. So I wanted to inform you and let you know what Volodymyr Zelensky said in case we hear of some sort of major nuclear event inside of Ukraine. Uh, but as I've been telling you guys for a long time, I'm going to say it again. I believe uh, personally that Russia is going to fight to the very end with this war. They have committed so much money, so many troops, so much equipment. They have lost so much. They have had an incursion open up into their nation. I mean, uh, Russia is definitely committed to this war, and uh, I believe NATO is as well. So, I mean, this thing is definitely going to end very badly at some point unless Russia and Ukraine are able to hopefully come to the negotiating table and uh, solve this thing peacefully. But so far, it doesn't look like that's going to be likely. But hopefully in the near future, cooler heads will prevail and they will end this thing peacefully. So let me know what you think of this down below. Share your thoughts, concerns, and opinions down in the comment section. That's going to be it for today's update. If you got something out of this, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, Hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.